I'm Anne Ogden Gaffney, Cook for Your Life, and today we're in Anne's Digital Kitchen and we're about to talk about eggplant or aubergine, whatever you like to call it. Now, there's a number of different kinds of eggplant, and I've got three of the major ones here. And they all have slightly different properties. Now this is a regular, what we're most used to seeing is the Italian eggplant. Now you can get teeny tiny like little baby ones of these, but um, are always, you know, they're huge basically, <laughs> like this. And they need salting and I'll show you how to do that presently. Now this is um, a type of egg eggplant which is often found in the Caribbean and also there's a, a smaller version of it with these same stripes which is really sweet and delicious which is used in Indian cooking which is called a, a fairy eggplant which is about half the size of this but it still has this pretty marbled thing. Now my favorite eggplant of the lot and I tell you why it is, it's because they don't need any salting at all of the long, skinny Asian eggplants. You'll find this, yeah, this one here. Now these are great because you can just chop them, wash them, chop them up, put them in your food. You don't need to salt them, you don't need to think of anything. They're not bitter and they hold together very well. And this is what they use in all Thai, Thai curries, Japanese cooking. All of, the, all of the Asian cooking. So I'm going to cut up this big guy here and show you how to salt it. Now with um, eggplant, doesn't matter which one, you ne always need to cut the, the cap off. I never peel them, some people do, but I, I never do. I, I mean, I think part of the, the, uh, the great thing about eggplant is it's glossy skin. Now eggplant should be firm, it shouldn't be wrinkly, it shouldn't be, shouldn't, be, um, shouldn't be soft. Now this is a really beautiful one. You see how it is, it's all beautiful and white on the inside. Now there's a couple of ways that you can cut this. You can either do it in thickish slices, which you do if you're doing like an eggplant parmesan, which a big guy like this would be perfect for by the way because you could then just Put it, you know, put it across. Or you can cut it into chunks, which is better for, for kinds of stews. Because it's big, I'm going to cut it into quarters. So you cut it into chunks, like so. For these big ones here, you're going to have to sort them. So I've set something up here. I'm just going to just set these up and then put in another layer. And I, I'm just putting all the chunks in. I wouldn't obviously normally do it quite like this, but it doesn't really matter. I just want you to see what comes out of here. And this is called sweating the eggplant. If you read in the recipe, sweat the eggplant, this is what they're talking about. Now, when you cook eggplant, and this is definitely true of these Italian eggplants, they suck up a lot of oil. If, if a recipe says to fry, um, you're going to use a lot of oil because it just like sponges. So I always like to to actually, once I've gone through this process, is to is to just toss them in a little bit of oil and bake them on a baking sheet. Just roast them, and that way you can you can get the same kind of flavour, but without literally using a cup of oil to cook them with. So I'm just going to leave these and you'll see that this is just going to, they're just going, the water's going to start pouring out. You can see already with, with see how this is now, how it's, it's just it's kind of sweating a little bit just on its own. Right, so I just want to come into these guys because actually I love these guys because they're so easy to use. And these ones, You can see it's not exactly a different plant, but it's just a different way of doing it. So these ones I'll just cut into half moons. And they're perfect just as is for roasting. I don't need to salt them, need to go through any of that stuff. So it's just, it's just perfect. These, these kind of guys do need salting though if you're gonna slice them. Now, the other thing that's really great about eggplant is to roast it whole. 
Um, and when you do that, you can put this one in the oven, you can just prick it and then you can put it in the oven and roast it whole and, the, and this is what baba ganoush is made out of. Then you can open it up and scoop the flesh out and it has a wonderful smoky taste, even if it's not been anywhere near a coal. Okay. Now this is kind of perfect for making um, caponata or ratatouille, all those kind of famous eggplant stews. So that is kind of where we're at with eggplant.